Hi, you're watching TechCrunch TV. I'm Colleen Taylor. I'm sitting here at the headquarters of Juanilo in downtown San Francisco, sitting with the founder and CEO, Dina Varshevskaya. Uh, thanks for having us here. Thanks for visiting. <laughs> and so the news here today is your new app with some pretty cool features that are coming out. But just to start, I want to catch up on Juanilo. Uh, can you remind me and the viewers, what is Juanilo? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Juanilo is an online community for all of the world shopping. Uh, we are uniting all stores and all products into a single social platform. Great, and you've had some pretty crazy growth. Uh, you were just founded a couple of years ago, a year yes. and a half or so ago. Uh, can you give me some numbers of how Winilo has grown? Uh, so we just went from 1 million members in November to 10 million today. Um, and uh, it's been absolutely fun. I hope we're just getting started. <laughs> right. And who are these users? What's the demographic of a one elo user? We have a close to 50% saturation of college-aged females in the U.S. So more than 90% of our users are in the U.S., uh, more than 90% are female. Uh, so it's a pretty concentrated group of users. Great. And what sets Wanilo apart from all of these other platforms out here? I think someone might look at the app or look at your product and think, this is one of many other sites on the web that just have a lot of pretty pictures of clothes sure. and furniture and things like that. What, what's different? We are the only community that's 100% focused on products and stores, um, and especially of our size, uh, so the only community of this size. Uh, so all the problems we're solving are around shopping. Right. So you can click on anything in Wanilo and it takes you right exactly. to buying something. Exactly. Right. And there are plenty of platforms, as you mentioned, where you can see lots of images, and Wanilo is where you shop. Great. Cool. Can we take a look at yeah, the new app? Absolutely. So our mission is to um, organize all of the world shopping and be the front end to all of your shopping. Um, this is your personalized feed that um, gives you a feed of all of the products from stores and people you follow. Um, in the bottom left here, you could see why you're seeing a particular item. So uh, you're following a store, you're following a person, and that's why the item show, shows up in your feed. Um, one of the things that really helps um, move this idea forward is the ability to search within your stores. Um, so here I'll demonstrate what that looks like. Um, I'll go ahead and search for, ooh, it's hard to type this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so for something simple, ooh, can I do that? <laughs> um, black dress. Um, so here uh, you have um, a way to see results from only my stores uh, or from all stores. And what's amazing about this is I've followed many stores and so my results are really customized to me um, and this particular set of results is just really meaningful and we can compare that to uh, searching from within all of the community and you know right away the selection of products is just really different. So um, this really becomes a way to um, you know bring all of my stores um, into one place and search them all at once. Um, and as soon as this feature was launched, I instantly was finding things I need to buy immediately. <laughs> so I know for myself it's definitely working. As the second feature that is really um, an important next phase for us is a feature called Stories. So Stories are a way to enable the editorial voice around products. Um, and this is important for two reasons. Number one is we know that um, what really matters about the product is not the actual physical object, but the story behind it. So for the first time ever, um, this is actually enabling us to, um, to, see, to see what that story is and see what that social context is. Um, so stories can be published by stores or people. Um, so in this case, we're looking at a story published by Free People, the store. Um, and they're linking to a particular collection of products. Um, and uh, here's a story that I published. Um, and so the second reason for why this feature is really important, here's a story published by Bonobos. Um, the second reason why this is important is that um, uh, we have, so Urban Outfitters is a perfect example. Urban Outfitters now has two million followers on Winilo. Um, and this actually surpasses their followers on any other social media platform. Um, so this is bigger than Facebook, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter for them. Um, and up until this moment, they actually haven't had a way of communicating to all of their followers um, in a proactive, direct manner. And this enables them to talk about their products, to um, you know, announce sales, announce new products, um, talk about you know, particular thematic groups of products. And each story can be embedded, it can be liked, it can be um, commented upon. Um, so it really is a way to encourage conversation around this as well. Looks great. Thanks. Cool. How many words can be in a story? Um, 
I actually forget the exact limit, but I think it's something like 500. So it's okay. like three tweets. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, enough to talk about it, but not enough to you know bore you. Right. <laughs> so it's sort of like a mini blog post. That's another way of thinking about it. Right. So with these published stories, this really seems to be turning Wenilo into a bit of an editorial platform. What do you expect to change here going forward? Right. We are enabling the human voice and human creativity behind products. The reason we think this is important is that um, when you purchase a product, it's really not about the physical object, it's about the story behind it. Um, and so our goal is to enable that story to be told. Um, and uh, you know, this is equally important for users um, as well as brands. Um, so we have something like 200,000 stores on Winnie Low, ranging from you know, huge brands you've all heard of to tiny Etsy sellers. Um, and uh, for brands like uh, Urban Outfitters, Free People, um, whose followers on Wanilo actually now surpass their followers elsewhere, um, this is a huge opportunity to actually finally start talking to their followers directly. So Urban Outfitters now has 2 million followers on Wanilo. Um, and this is a way for them to publish content around you know, like new uh, product announcements, new sales, um, thematic products, uh, product stories. Uh, to their two million followers. Now, does Urban Outfitters or these other brands do they pay Wanilo for for this ability to broadcast? They don't. This is free. This is totally it's free. It's an amazing way to talk about your products, and it's completely free. So, how do you guys make money? What's in it for Wanilo? Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, right now, our focus is really long term, um, so we are not focusing on short term monetization. But we do have affiliate sales in place, um, and we just know that it's not the end goal. Great. And so tell me a little bit about the company itself here, too. We're here at your headquarters in San Francisco. How many people are working here and what's next? Yeah, absolutely. We're currently 24. Uh, we are, you know, we were just 11 back in March, so we certainly are growing really fast. Uh, what's next? I don't know. We're populating the office with squishables, so that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> that's, very, that's very important. What's next in terms of the product as well? Now that you've launched these stories and search, what's what's next for Wanila? Yeah, I mean, our goal is to uh, to be the front end to all your shopping. So we are continuing to focus on that, um, continuing to help you find stores to follow, uh, people to follow, and personalize your experience. Great. Dina, thank you so much for having us here and showing us the latest Wanilo app. Thanks for being here. Cool.